Hello, ladies and all the people sitting on the toilet right now. Holler at me if you're taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. Tell me all about how you are sitting on that porcelain throne while watching the Daily Challenge just for Lunky. Tell me now if you are Lord and Savior of the tile domain that is the bathroom. Well, some people don't have tile in the bathroom. It, traditionally, it's a thing that that has tile in the house, a bunch of tile in the in the bathroom. If my voice sounds a little weird or distant. It's simply because I have a freaking cat on my lap. She didn't want to leave. She jumped on me. It's like, all right, well, we'll roll with it. And uh, I am now recording with a cat on my lap, so <laughs> I apologize if the sounds, uh, the, the voice sounds a little strange, and uh, I might be heading towards disaster very, very soon. Not that that will be any different to our norm, but I'm just saying that if she suddenly, suddenly jumps onto the the keyboard, I got nobody to blame but but the cat. It won't be me that is to blame. It will be the cat. Anyway. Now that is established, now that uh, my escape goat, or rather escape cat, <laughs> uh, my escape cat has been established, I can go into the, the daily challenge and perhaps be amazing at what horrible, horrible ordeals will befall me. I might be able to survive, I might be able to make something good of myself, even though I have been sucking some serious balls. Uh, you know, it's nice to have this help. Thank you, Splunky, for throwing me a, a bone here. Give me a hand with my terrible, terrible ordeals that I've been suffering lately. I don't enjoy having this spider here, but I have 28, 22 bombs. It makes no sense to conserve a bomb here. In this situation where it is so damn hard to get anything done. Uh, pass that spider without dying. I'm going to use some resources to be safe. All right, friendo. Oh man, if that had been like uh, spring shoes in the in the present box, if it had been maybe not climbing gloves, I think spring shoes would be the only thing that could have completely screwed me over there. Uh, so it would have ruined the the toss of the bomb and, uh, and the jump on the, the stun. I didn't realize there were two gems down there, so we're going to actually open this up. Because we're ghosting, baby! We're going to get a bunch of gauge out of these uh, places. It's going to be a great time, and now I have the means to get back up here. I can even jump all the way back up! Look at me! Look at me! Rupla! Mm-hmm. Mr. Me6, look at me! Let's uh, maybe get something out of this area. No, there's absolutely nothing. So, all I need to do is get the money down there. And I guess I could rescue Belinda, get her to the exit, get her to give me a kiss. Because that is just the only way I can get any poon by women feeling obligated to repay me. You know? Uh, so, let's let's get that done. The bottom stuff is the stuff that is harder to ghost, so I'm going to have those ghosted first, and then we'll get to those emeralds. I will get the emeralds and the sapphires, and also all the rubies. Please, give me all of this cash, and I will enjoy buying all sorts of hookers for me to, to contract an STD. Maybe we can get everything ghosted. Amazing! Amazing stuff! Luna did not enjoy her time in my lab while I was screaming into the computer like a maniac, so she had jumped off. I don't blame her. I mean, my wife also tunes me out all the time and she'll just walk out of the out of the room when I'm talking, so I'm something that is I'm used to. People just leaving when I start talking. It is, uh, you know, it has uh, done a horrible, horrible... Uh, horrible number on my self-esteem but at least people don't hate me because they just walk away instead I guess there's the silver lining people tolerate me at a distance I suppose let's go through the exit hopefully no shopkeeper death sh will happen I am just <laughs> freaking scarred I have some serious PTSD 
from all the shopkeeper deaths that have been happening lately. Put that there, so I hope you will forgive me if I am extra cautious today and don't take any uh, silly, silly, silly chances. This guy could be a shopkeeper in disguise. In disguise, you never know. So we better shoot him straight in the face, so he doesn't turn around and betray me at the at the worst moment possible. I have full intention to go this level because I noticed the vault down there, so I would like not to pick that up. That being said, one of the hardest things to possibly ghost in the level, so that's probably just not getting picked up ever. Uh, so I kind of regret leaving it up there. We have a new Jedi here. Let's throw in this pot because I can't be bothered to do anything else about it. And of course we want to get access to this shopkeeper. And uh, this is a bad spot to free this guy. You you can you can see my death happening here, right? Like you, you can visualize it. How I will stand here, I'll shoot, I will miss, and then I'll get murdered. The way I'm going to try and prevent that is by shotgun jumping. I actually shotgun jumped, and uh, I <laughs> totally was able to not be in his face when that whole thing happened. I am very happy to see everything that's happening at the bottom tier of this level. I am just full of joy watching all that stuff unfold down there. That being said, let me see, let's be super careful. It's a whole bunch of spikes. Oh man, there's an extra dude down there. Very nice to get all those bombs though. Really easy uh, gems to get ghosted. I appreciate the shopkeeper getting himself murdered without actually disturbing this chest so now I have a very very easy time getting that done and uh, there's another shopkeeper down there let's uh, try and deal with him even though even though it's been almost it's almost time for the ghost to show up but this should work pretty well thanks to the maniac jumping around like a like a madman and uh, me being able to have a, a clear line of line of fire if I shut up for a moment, no shopkeeper music. Okay, <laughs> I needed uh, my my speakers were extremely low, so I have to take that. Uh, I can't even tell. Is is he alive? No, no, he's not. He's not. The the, the gun is there. I'm going to even use an extra rope here just to put myself in a very very easy situation. In fact, I have so many bombs. We're going to do this. That it makes all the sense in the universe to get those two bombs done. Very glad to see this. Very happy also that I was ready to whip that freaking skeleton. Okay, there's spikes down there, but they're harmless. Let's all do that. Eh, it's gonna be wasting some time here, but whatever. Alright, I am pleased with everything that's happening right now. I anticipate, you know, I can just see myself jumping straight into spikes. But hopefully we can prevent that from happening. I would like to go all the way back up to the top here. And uh, get that sapphire into my pocket. That I said, oh, we probably will never get around to go to this and blah, 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 blah. Look at what look, looks like happening now. Oh, the ghosting is real. It is actually happening. Don't pick it up, though. Um, two gems up here. Might be worth it to use two bombs to get to them, but... I'm not gonna. That's been triggered. It's totally harmless to go up there, so it should be okay. I probably should be using the bombs to get to these. I mean, this looks like pretty damn promising. This this seed looks promising. Of course, I don't have any good items yet. Well, I have some some cool miscellaneous items that I might be able to make work for the entirety. Like these items that we have right here, these are good enough, man. We can we can make a pretty penny. Just carrying these all the way to the to the to the end of the game, but hopefully we'll get something better than this. So we'll get a the very least. Hopefully we'll get a cape. That is pretty damn likely. It is uh, the it is the the greater minority of runs that don't have at least a measly freaking cape. I mean I can just uh, get a a rag and wrap it around my neck and there you go. So it's not that much of a valuable item where monetary value is concerned. I guess I am leaving. Should maybe use the bounce to get the other gems. Fuck it, just, just go through. 
and uh, you must have finished uh, taking a dump by now, right? And now you are perhaps carrying your phone to your bedroom where you will masturbate while you watch me play. That is what I imagine every time that I record this stuff anyway. Let's see if we can continue making lots of money. And I guess I'll, I'll throw that down there, I suppose. Oh, so there's these two gems. There's a gem there, there is emerald here. Did I ever go this way? I didn't. How dare I? All right, that is not what I wanted. I will meet you in the... I will duel you while airborne. I'm just that badass bitch. I guess I'll grab this. I just can't be bothered to travel all the way back up here. I just cannot do it. Oops, I didn't need to drop that. What you got, Kratos? You have more bombs. I think I have to... It is now the time to consider. I might want to go all out. Be like, be all like. Bitch, I'm going to spend every resource that I have getting money. I am kind of worried about that, so there you go. That happened. We get a purple spider free of its tethers. All right, let's do lots of money here. I mean, tons of cash. So we're totally going to go for those. It'd be awesome to get also a Kali out there somewhere. I'm not uh, terribly hung up about that. Major Stupid is going to do me a solid. Going to trigger that arrow trap. Should not be descending this area without the shotgun. So let me go back to it. Whoop. And uh, we have a beautiful clear shot for this fool to perish. I am seeing two shotguns down there. That fills me with uh, confusion. What's the dealio here? Why two shotguns down here? Aha! I see. A motherfucker that wanted to ambush the shit out of me. Somehow he lost his shotgun earlier. What the freaking hell, man? I'm so proud of myself by now, uh, right now, because I reacted exactly how I was supposed to react and did not lose my cool. I'm going to throw a bomb here. I mean, I'm going to shut up because I cannot hear the shopkeeper music ending. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Look at all these bombs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a blow up. The entirety of this place. This is totally worth it to spend two bombs into. Uh, I am happy to see the shopkeeper just getting blown up. My goodness, look at all this stuff all over the place. This city is beautiful. I mean, of course, the items are not there just, just yet. But just give it time, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's a lot of stuff to be done here. We're going to absolutely, uh, or at least try, we're going to attempt saving Major Stupid the second or the first, or whichever one it is. But he's not like uh, paramount in my thoughts. That is not like my number one priority or nothing. I am climbing under duress. That is never a good idea. Hopefully there's not a dead end. All right. <laughs> I just don't remember what was here. Maybe we can even finish up getting that idol. And are we able... To put a bomb here, then maybe... I want to get to the spider. So it might be possible to create a shortcut and get to the spider. So maybe that way I can end up getting the emerald to my right. So I, uh, I'll i reserve judgment on picking up that other other gem over there. Let's just take it easy and make it happen. We want to get into that spot, put a bomb there. I know there's a pot over there, I'm going to in fact pick it up and put a bomb somewhere. Here's a good spot. But of course, we're going to be take mercy on Major Stupid, put him through the exit. You get me all this stuff, bitch. All right, we want this there. I think that will work out okay. Okay, that worked out beautifully. Uh, this should be safe, right? I don't trust myself getting this done right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just seeing myself getting ghosted right now. But there, there you go. And we opened up the area with the climbing glass. We should be able to get all the way up. This is looking good. Uh, maybe I should go and seek out uh, more pots to maybe get good stuff done, but eh, whatever. whatever, man. There's so much money in this level. Most of the time when I go stuff early, I get totally boned later on. But uh, also, when I go stuff early, sometimes... I make it all the way to the end, so I can't just say, oh, it's not even worth it. That is just just defeatist 
defeatist. Something I'm not going to do. I'm a victorist. Oh, shit. <laughs> I uh, did not expect that to happen. Did not expect that to, to be so damn aggressive. We're going to get these first. That damn spider. Very upsetting. Maybe we can get the sapphire too. That was kind of... It's kind of challenging. In fact... Now we can maybe... Get the other gems if I am fast enough. Ooh. I'm going to get myself trapped. Let's not be foolish. Okay. Oh, I don't have... I don't have, uh... Spike shoes. Okay, let's just leave this for later then. I thought I had spike shoes and that way I made that... That entire thing trivial going down there, but since I don't have the spike shoes, I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> Arrow, man, it just had a homing head onto attached onto its point. It was straight, going straight for my face. It didn't matter where I was or how clear of danger I was. It don't matter none to that arrow. It's going to destroy my freaking face. I'm going to get the emerald. Is the my priority here? Because that is the thing that is in the way for me to get to those crates. This level is tricky. It's a lot of money, but lots of hurdles to get through to be able to ghost everything. So this emerald here, it's also very, very gettable. So might as well get it done. Uh, bomb there. And this should work pretty straightforward. There you go. We're going up this way. I'm still intending... I gather, to gather that idol to end with. But that will not happen yet. Get in here, get some more ropes, get some more ropes. Feeling good, man. It's all good. I am excited. To at least I count this already a success. Like, I did not get murdered by 1-2 shopkeeper jumping into my face and just ruining everything. This is successful right here. And damn it, I have a whole bunch of cash. And I am rolling high. I'm rolling high. Rolling the dough. I am having a great time with all of my YouTube friends, and we're just going to succeed. I'm going to succeed where I have failed in the past. I think I'm just going to grab this. It is ghostable, but it's just too much damn work. So it just goes into my pocket and just gets forgotten forever. I was hoping to do two recordings today. That is what I had time for today, but you know, this is uh, such a great and successful run that it's just going to be one of those one and a half. Our runs, just success, left, right, and center, right here, in your face. What's gonna happen? What, you doubt me? I know you doubt me. I know you think that I'm not all that. But I am all that. I am all that, and even a bag full of chips. That is how much I am. I'm going to grab this, and we're going to see the good times roll. Not going to chase it, not going to do anything weird. Just going to let it happen. Uh, there's a little bit of cash, but I think I'll just not, not care too much about it. I mean, it's just little tiny pieces of gold. Those are worth perhaps 300 here. Oh, oh. Well, it did open the area to go down this way, and that is significant cash. There you go. Yeah, we're good to go, and uh, I don't know where that diamond down there showed up from, but we're going to pick it up. Absolutely. Did not, it just it sim I simply did not realize that it was there. Ah, that's right, we wanted to murder all these filthy, filthy animals. I'm not I'm not disrespecting them or anything, they are just really dirty freaking animals down there in the in a disgusting dirt pit, so it's not like I'm being prejudiced or nothing. I'm just describing them. They are animals, they are filthy. Or covered in dirt and cum. Let's get this shotgun. Get all the way down here. Did I tell you guys I, I completely shed the pretense of being family friendly? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have ca caught that, uh, that, my drift by now. Uh, bomb here? Uh, that was um, not the best I could have done because there was a sapphire behind it. So that was dumb. I guess we're doing that. Because there's a pack. Maybe I should uh, make sure to... Let's see, let's see if we can murder these guys. Oh yeah, catch it! <laughs> catch the corpse, bullets! Um, what was I saying? I was saying something, and then I got completely sidetracked. Uh, probably was something retarded about my penis or something, so uh, whatever. Let's just uh, get through this horrible ordeal. I guess a bum here will get me all of the stuff in there. Pa-pow! 
And I'm a little disappointed about the existence of this whole place. That Tiki Trap is just annoying. Let's just murder this guy and uh, I guess now we can uh, do that and solve my Tiki Trap problem. Fantastic! Get away from me, psycho. It's death. Uh, and I continue using bombs where maybe I shouldn't. Maybe there's orange frogs somewhere. Maybe there are alternatives that I could use. Or, you know, at the very least, I should be taking care of all of the dangers first and then liberating bombs. But I just don't know any better, man. I just get so excited about getting all this cash in my pocket. I just can't help it. I just gotta get it out of, uh, of the walls and into my pocket. Well, there's the shopkeeper. It's not a big deal. We're going to take it real easy, man. We are not taking risks today. I mean, we are taking risks because, you know, this is freaking Spelunky. You cannot play this game without uh, taking risks here and there. Playing the game itself is a risky proposition. But, um, just trying to play as safe as possible while getting all sorts of money. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is not what I intended. But thankfully, I didn't know how to pay the ultimate price. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, it would have been complete disaster because I have plenty of health and it would not have stun locked me or anything but I would rather not get poisoned by disgusting snails just uh, burping straight into my face hole it's very upsetting oh but we have a, a way to go in there from the top so it's not that big a deal it's not that big a deal I don't like this entire area god damn it I missed both? <laughs> Derp. That was silly. Hopefully we can get it done from uh, from the bottom here. That sapphire is also a challenge to get ghosted. Well, it's a little too enthusiastic, I think, getting the sapphire out. That being said, though, it's not like a huge deal. There. There you go. And we're going to just go around this... Uh, there. Fantastic. There you go. Aha! Oh, wait, 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 wait. We want the, uh, the ghost as right most as possible. So do this again. Oh, it just puts my balls in, in my throat every time that I jump over the ghost uh, without using a rope or anything. It's, I know that the spring shoes will make it, but that doesn't make it any, any more, any less upsetting. Alright. We can get all that stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's happening. There you go. Uh, there's a bunch of money here. There's ropes in the in the walls. Do I care about them enough? I don't think I do. Oh, that's not full damage. I'm glad. I don't think I care about those ropes enough. That being said, though, I don't have. Oh, that was dumb. I don't have really any items. You know, I don't have a cape. I don't have a. Uh... I don't have really resources. Uh, that's not gonna, yeah, that's gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Will. That's good. I was a bit concerned for a moment. I don't have to rescue this dog, but I am uh, an animal lover, so absolutely, we'll rescue this dog. All right, this emerald though. This emerald is upsetting as well. Everything's upsetting to me. That's why I say it so often. I am always upset. Because uh, I always am, I am always, I'm dealing with diarrhea, so obviously, I'm always upset all the time. This is a terrible idea again, so let's do the whole uh, safe ghost shenanigans here. There, whoopla. Now over to the other side, got all that stuff, got this diamond right here. The, all the shit on the left hand side is the most difficult one, most difficult stuff, because the ghost is so damn hard to avoid. What's down there? I should not put the bomb there, that destroys the vine. Derp -a derp -a derp thankfully, we have lots of ropes. Okay, we're using another rope here. <laughs> no big deal. Because we have so many of them. I think now oh, that makes it worth it, right? Using a bomb to get three ropes. Let's just do it. I mean, I feel disappointed in myself <clears throat> for being wasteful. 
but it's fine. Alright, hey, we can actually get that sapphire. Oh, can I even make it in there? Yeah, if I use a freaking rope, I can do it. The amazing flight of the shopkeeper corpse, always happy to see. Shopkeepers getting disrespected. Always super duper. Okay, let's get over this thing. Let's see what we can make happen in this uh, spot right here. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, and there's a... Oh, that was stupid. That was super dumb. We can do this. God damn it. <laughs> Just wanted to. Get over here. Oh, piranhas. Oh, piranhas. Okay, I need to deal with this piranhas. There, thank you. And I'm going to use yet another rope just because I don't trust myself jumping properly out of here. There. Fantastic. I mean, all of the crates have been really generous. All the stuff that we keep finding. We just don't have any good items. So this sapphire, it's a pain in the ass to ghost. It is doable, ain't gonna do it. We just don't have the gumption. So I think that we have all the stuff at the bottom. Did we actually get that done? Totally forget, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. Of course, we want the shotgun. There's also an emerald down there. Just shrugging at it. I uh, don't know where the ghost is at. Okay, let's do it one more time. Pick up the shotgun and get out of here. So this was a fantastic, fantastic level. I did spend quite a few resources, but I'm cool with that. I mean, we were getting cash. Uh, obviously could have been more efficient about it. I wasted some stuff, but it wasn't bad, I, I would say. And now, let's see if the, the black market just puts the nail in the coffin of the, all of the shopkeepers. Is going to just get me all the way to the... Wow, we get a freaking hard, ha hard hand. And a very upsetting uh, situation down there. A bad, bad, bad uh, set of stores. We have Hard Hand here, he's still alive, he's not alive anymore. <laughs> That's like, man, we can maybe even save him, that would be cool. Nope, he just, he, just, he was like, fuck this shit, man, I'm just, uh, I'm just getting, I don't, I don't care about this world no more. I'm going to go meet my lord and savior Jesus, and he just threw himself into the garbage chute. We have a shooting here of innocent people! reacted man I reacted so nicely and then I messed up by shooting when I wasn't supposed to god damn it man that was a good one uh, the thing is though I I didn't see the bottom not really I it's pretty early so uh, uh, most scores have not happened yet but I didn't see the bottom of the black market but it did not look like it was going to get any better <laughs> I'm pretty pretty disappointed pretty disappointed Look at that, 2-2, 400,000, that was extremely rich seed. Uh, 27 minutes, let's just go into the go into the game, go do do a few uh, speedruns here. Uh, pretty bad circumstance, like I, I was doing all the right things, I, what I should have n done is stay back. I went a little too brazen and went uh, closer to the damsel, the damsel was, the dead damsel was blocking every shot. And it just so happened that the tempo of those uh, shotgun shots were perfect for the shopkeeper to go past. What the hell just happened? I did not hit the jump button, but I jumped off the ground. What was that? I need to watch the, the replay for that one because I did not touch the jump button. And instead of getting full damage, I just bounced off the, the ground. That was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Anyway... What I did run there was going forward. If I had simply stayed back, I was feeling far too confident from my exploits. And uh, I just paid the price, man. Just for a moment, I had the mental lapse of, of not being safe anymore. And I paid dearly for it. There's nothing I can say other than that was totally my mistake. But it was a small mistake. Like, I was pretty damn safe. A 90 to 95% of cases where that has happened or could ever happen in the future. That would have been perfectly fine. But, this happened to get the circumstance where the initial conditions were against me. And I even reacted okay jumping over the damn shotgun pellets. But then, I mistimed my, my shot in the back and I, I think I 
in fact, I'm just going to drop down here. Uh, I think I in fact shot, but I shot in the wrong direction. I did not. I I don't recall right now exactly what happened, but it was a small mistake after reacting nicely, and uh, of course, lost it all in the end. So that was terrible. What just happened right there? I'm still alive though, so we're going to hang on to this run. Don't really know what exactly I'm doing other than just filling a little bit of time. Uh, getting that uh, to that perhaps 30 minute mark. Even though it was a good death. I could have just left it there. Now we're just kind of whittling down the effect of the daily challenge. Maybe it's a little bit anti-spoiler. Although not really. But if this way, with this uh, these extra speed runs. You can't tell that I died in the just I died in the in the black market just by looking at the duration of the video. You can be like, oh, okay, he he still has he obviously died early because the video is 40 minutes, but he obviously survived this black market. But no, <laughs> oh man, I am just catching you of guard right here. Spoiler, spoiler, counterplay right here. Uh, buying that pace might be worth the money. I don't think I have the cash for it though, so let's just go. I mean, uh, just in the jar, it's freaking expensive. So let's simply go forward. Well, I could have used the extra point of health there. I really could have used that arrow trap not being where it was. But them's the brakes. Let's just go down here. I think this is all open. All the way to the bottom. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to speed run for maybe another 10 minutes. Make this into a 40 minute video. That sounds okay to me. And uh, Although, you know, <laughs> I just had the blood left in me. I just needed to go uh, cause pain to that man. Uh, why do I go to 40 minutes when I could do 30 minutes? I don't know, man. Uh, 30 minutes, I feel, is even a better video duration as a, as a general rule. It's like the golden standard, kind of, sort of. Uh, although, the ad revenue kicks in at 10 minutes now, or whatever the hell it is. I, I'm not in the loop with all that stuff, because... I don't have ad on my ads on my channel, but uh, it's something that I have been considering, especially because we want to move and I would, you know, we, we are kind of sick of uh, freaking Alaska. Alaska sucks ass, by the way. <laughs> it's not a it's not a fun place to live, both in several different meanings. There, there is basically nothing, quote unquote, nothing to do unless. Uh, you really enjoy the wilderness. If you're a wilderness guy where you, you like to go outside and just have fun in the forest and shit like that, Alaska is your place, man. You, can, you you're going to have the blast of your time with living in Alaska, going outside, uh, hanging out with moose and shit like that. But um, if you're more of an urban person, you're going to be bored out of your mind. That is one way that is not fun to live up here. Also, not fun to live up here because it's goddamn expensive. I would like to have a compass. I ain't got no compass. So we're guessing down uh, down this path of destruction. Uh, oh shit! I thought it was. Uh... Oh wow, that's full damage. I didn't expect that. Okay, so this is doable. A little upsetting, but doable. Another way that uh, yes, it's expensive. Not just the price of things, but also you have to pay for fuel. If you own a house, if you are renting, you know what? We're going to go for that. Uh, try try. And go for that jetpack here. This is totally gonna happen. Don't you worry about a thing, my brothers. It's totally gonna happen. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen. It's totally gonna happen. That is not, <laughs> that is not kosher. Alright, uh, this is not happening, and in fact, nothing is happening right now. I am kinda trapped right here. I'm glad that that mammoth died. That is that. There's that. Oh, I was really hoping to throw that. Uh, bomb where it was supposed to and now I'm kind of just trapped this whole thing uh, Got destroyed simply because I'm a moron and I uh, failed miserably I get in a jetpack and I have no bomb so That's all I have my thoughts that I have on the matter uh, Anyway Expensive to live up here. Also, it's cold freaking cold man. It's Alaska. What the hell do you expect you fool? Um, the the winter is just is just inhuman how <laughs> freaking cold it is that being said, something you might not expect. Summers are hot as fuck. It's just so damn warm. At least in uh, Fairbanks, Alaska, it is super warm in the summers. I am talking about... I mean, it's not Arizona hot. But it is up in the 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. 
I don't think the, the exit is this way, by the way. But it uh, looks like it should be connected. All right. This is no longer a speed run, by the way. I, I wasted way too much time. But, you know, we're on the way to the exit. So might as well continue. What am I saying? Uh, whoa. Um, yes. Oh, man, we have the chance to crush Anubis if I get far enough. Bullshit. This is a nightmare right here. <laughs> Oh, we can make it happen. I mean, I know it's just uh, very trigger happy right here. It's very upsetting. Okay, I guess I guess I'll take it. Use use that, I suppose, and then trigger that to go up and uh, <laughs> just kill myself. <laughs> what? What is this? We can do it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is this horrendous landscape of nightmarish proportions? This temple level, one of the worst I've ever seen. I think it might be the worst temple level I have endured during uh, speedruns. That is, I think, not an overstatement. If it's not the worst, I was too slow. I should have just jumped over the over the mummy. If it's not the worst, top five for sure. All right, let's just do one more, uh, and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. What other horrible things happen in Alaska? Well, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, homeless people. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, I mean, that's something that happens in every urban place, but and I'm not, like, I'm just observing reality here. I'm not, this is not a racist statement. I'm just telling you the truth, and I am a mailman that has been all over town. I can tell you with 100% veracity. There is a lot of drunken natives roaming the streets. At odd hours of the day, <laughs> is uh, you know it's not like they're not violent in my experience. Some I've been some are violent, but in the ones that I have encountered, they were not violent. They were just weird, and it just weirds you out to go out uh, at uh, a non-standard hour around town. Uh, they're loud, raucous. They are kind of a pain in the ass. So uh, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. It's uh, kind of a, a downside of living inside. <laughs> Fairbanks, Alaska town, and again, I'm not uh, not being uh, judgmental. I'm not saying that all natives should burn into uh, an oven, although nothing of value will be lost, honestly. But uh, all I'm saying is, is something I have observed one time, by the way. A strange anecdote, very brief. Uh, native uh, gentleman of probably homeless disposition offered me, walked up to me as I was delivering mail, and he offered me very kindly to perhaps sell his gloves to me and uh he he did not seem uh, to realize that i have already plenty plenty of gloves he did not seem to be all the way there he did not seem to be like the sharpest tool in the shed or the most sober of individuals oh wow here we have a jetpack and a teleporter okay so we're going to just go a little murdery just a little murdery no big deal here just do a little bit of murder because we have a jetpack and a teleporter. What better way to end this run than to kill myself with a teleporter? That is the best way to go about things. Another thing that will only bother about half of you. Very, very conservative town. Um, and really in your face about it. Like, holy crap. Uh, kind of upsetting. <laughs> All the bumper stickers. All the, the like, people will actually talk to you about it and, and stuff like that and that, that's a bit of an exaggeration it's only been a couple times as a mailman you do get people talking talking to you about politics when normally if uh you're just a regular dude uh living in the place you're not going to get that kind of conversations but for some people people stop me in the streets and will talk to me about whatever man god damn it that was bullshit we stunned the shopkeeper and the shotgun landed on my head. Like, it has happened many, many times. I just never prevent that from happening. Uh, people talk to the mailman about politics and all sorts of shit all the time, man. It's very upsetting. People think that you are some kind of family member. They see you every day. I guess I don't blame them. I would rather people just uh, did not talk to me in the slightest. I, I just... Uh, I'm full of hatred for every single person I encounter in my life. So, I just don't want to deal with that kind of garbage. Anyway, <laughs> what was I even talking about? Well, my my statement that I just did might color the rest of the things I've been telling you because, you know, now that I are aware that I am full of uh, 
I am full of resentment and hatred for every living thing. You might think, hmm, maybe what you're saying, I should take it with a grain of salt. Maybe what you're saying is not 100% uh, the real deal. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Wow, really? I went into a uh, dead-end spider nest? I thought that I was uh, being the, the most badass. Are you joking about this situation? <laughs> I should I just use a bomb to get past. Alright, let's make this last. I know I said that before. Okay. Okay, let's make the next one the last. The, I know I said that before. But this is the for realsies. For realsies, this is the last uh, speed run that we're doing today. It's been a great time. I think I have bashed <clears throat> my uh, place of living long enough. The, the, there's a lot of talk about the name. Let's, the, I'm going to tell you also a few positive things before this uh, this speed run is over. Uh, you know, it is very nice that people mostly leave you alone when you are not delivering mail. It is a place where you can just be a total weirdo and uh, just be shut in. And nobody gives a damn about you. There was a few other things. Uh, there's no bugs whatsoever for six to seven months out of the year. No bugs, anything, because it's too damn cold. So, you know, if you are a person that absolutely hates dealing with bugs, don't move to Alaska either, because summers are real bad with, with mosquitoes. <laughs> so, never mind about that. But for half the year, man, you're no, not dealing with bugs at all. It's fantastic. I'm only at one point of health. That's all right. Fred is here to give me a kiss, make it all better. He is ready to make our lives much, much better. He even survived spikes just for me. He is a trooper. He is fantastic. Let's go through here. I had uh, more positive things to say about this place, but uh, they, none of them come to mind right now. And I was thinking about them the other day. I was like, you know, it's bad, but, but there's all these other things that are real nice. I just can't think about them right now. <laughs> they are, must not be that amazing. Also, another awful thing, if you are technically, uh, technologically inclined, if you're an internet savvy person, of which, you know, if we are all watching videos on the internet, we have some kind of internet savvy. So, uh, absolutely atrocious internet and incredibly expensive too, like stupidly expensive. I'm talking about, we pay, I'm pretty sure it's 200 bucks for a one megabit, megabit uh, connection. Okay, that, that just happened, I'm cool with it. Is it $200? I think that's rolled, uh, or is it 150 I don't know, my, my wife takes care of that bill, so I'm not exactly sure how much it is. I'm pretty sure it's... Just, it's just abysmal and just absolutely upsetting in every regard. Oh, that's right. We pissed off the shopkeepers. Totally forgot about that. Um, yes, uh, internet sucks. Uh, like, it's so bad. I literally cannot stream. I tested it out the other day. Don't know if the, the few uh, cats, the few cool cats of you that... Follow me on Twitch, I have a username, and uh, nothing else, that's that's all it is. But I made a test to see, well, okay, let's see, if uh, let's give this streaming thing a try. I know, like, I already knew that Alaska internet was really bad and I would not be able to do it, but I never tested it, so I did, and boy, uh, the quality was just non-existent. I would have to put it lower than 320p in order to be able to stream even remotely uh, without dropping frames uh, and that is this is not a, something I want to do it's something I, I very much enjoy and uh, endorse and something I strive for in my own videos is a, a certain standard of quality is something that I, I it's not like oh I'm proud of it it's more like it's just the way I want to produce things if I'm going to make something I want to I want it to be damn decent I don't want it to be a piece of garbage that you uh, struggle to understand I mean, the content is a different story. My commentary is, uh, has its ups and downs. But uh, the quality of the video itself, I want it to be good. I don't want it to be total garbage. And uh, that stream would just be total garbage. So I don't want to, I don't want to uh, lower my standards to such, a, to such a degree. So, oh shit. Again, forgot about this man existing every single time. <laughs> hey, we're going to the temple. That's nice. Of course, this, this speedrun is not going all that fast, and in fact, I'm carrying a shotgun like it's nobody's business. But hopefully, oh, okay, 
Oh man, you are... In the middle of that I have 20 million bombs. I need to use these 20 million bombs to endure. Why does the temple hate me like this? I mean, I, I do my best, man. I do my best. Ah! Bullshit. I just want this man dead. <laughs> That's all I want. Alright, well, that took forever. Not much I could, uh, could have done about that one. I mean, I could have jumped in and hopefully avoid the man. But this was a terrible temple level. We just got unlucky. We got unlucky with this temple level. I should be using bombs every turn, man. I, instead of stopping to destroy the... Ah, I wanted to go on top. That's all right. That, that's, uh, this, this run was just really bad in time anyway. Well, we could have beaten the record, I think, if I had done Olmec fast. We could have been my personal best with this. Anyway, I was in the middle of a bunch of thoughts. Ended up in streaming. Sucks. Alaska sucks. Don't move to Alaska. Go away. That's all I got for you. <laughs> See you in the next one. Until then, don't move to Alaska.